Oh, got nothing set up. And I've already pressed the record button. Oh dear. Lesson learned. Hi guys. It's not really a tutorial or anything today. It's just gonna do a little draw and talk along. I've had to move this sort of further away from me. I'm almost drawing at arm's length, so yeah. What's the date today? Oh, Sunday the 19th already. Yeah, I hope you're all okay and you're well and stuff. All this crap going on in the world. It's just surreal, it really is. I'm just going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, yeah. You'll see what I'm talking about in a sec. Yeah, it's really weird. Can you see what I'm doing yet? I'm drawing a fish. You notice I draw a lot of um, plants because you can't really go wrong with plants because it's to say that they don't look like what they're supposed to look like because not even I know what plant it is. You know. And now I could do patterns in there if I wanted to. But I won't do, do all that stuff yet, let's try and draw a different one now. You can just do whatever you want, can't you, really? I don't know, when you do your sort of, you know, your sort of lining, if, you've, if you're thinking in the back of your head about colouring, I like to leave spaces for colouring. Um, And stuff like that we can do some bubbles there as well so we can do those wonky circles couldn't we maybe do one behind there different sizes different positions you know what I mean we could do a few of my, those dots I like to do So you don't have to do like, you know, floral, I suppose. You could just do whatever you want. Um, as long as you're, you're not really thinking about it too much. There is a difference, I might do a video on it where I show you inking, where you'd actually do a drawing in pencil and then you'd ink it. That's actually really calming as well. And you can turn that into a meditation. So, you know, all good stuff. Doing a, just a bit of like coral. Maybe. Underwater world, little wonderland.
yeah it's been a really weird weird week I suppose for everybody especially if you've got kids at the moment at school age I suppose um, if you're doing homeschooling at the moment because of the pandemic you've probably got your hands pretty full so this is this sort of me time is I think really important just to keep you sane and you can get you you know if you have got kids that age you can get them involved get them to draw along with you draw some fish draw some plants you know just because it's relaxing it might calm calm them down as well I suppose you know so just a bit of water top there <laughs> Yeah, I mean you could do you could still do flowers in this because who's to say that they're not underwater flowers? <laughs> yeah, underwater flowers, whatever you want to call them. You know, I mean, it's your picture, your meditation. Do what you want. If you want to make that more corally looking, I suppose we could just go around it, give it a little bit of an aura. But whatever you do, you don't want to be thinking about it too much. Where if you're doing inking, you know, pencil drawing, and inking, you, you're thinking about it a little bit more. But if you feel that a bit more confident, then why not do some inking? Because treat it like a colouring exercise for later. You know, we could put some rubble down here. So we're using those circles that we, well, that I like to do anyway. You know, stick one in there like that. Let me put a few here. And you could do whatever patterns you like on the on fish stock, couldn't you? Anything you like, circles, stripes, whatever you want. I'm leaving these blank because I might colour them up later, use them more for colour exercise. I might even put some bigger um, bubbles because these are always cool when you get to colouring. put some little lines in there just to indicate movement there you go and we could maybe put some little markings here and there just because I like doing dots and stuff <clears throat> there you go and that's a fun fun exercise you know you, you, I find that quite calming because it's simple to draw it's sort of thing you do when you're doodling away isn't it when you're at school in school times and if you've got kids get them involved get them to do some I suppose all helps yeah just using that same pen as you probably recognize this pen it's the same one I use for most of the time what size is it oh it's an 05 so it's not a bad size but as you know I don't really think too much about the sizes depends what what, what you're after but yeah there you go and if I wanted to I could come in now with the shading uh, what can I do? Maybe 
go underneath this fish there and then just shade it up like so oh I'm not going to go there just going under this under the fish really just to give it a bit of oddity another thing you could, we could I could do I suppose just thinking about it, if I go here in the inside of the line like that and make it sort of bring the shade inwards just gives him a bit gives this little fella a bit of shape but you could do that with colouring can't you I think I like that one better than that one but as far as the shading goes but whatever but I like to do this if I'm doing like animals or something whatever in colouring uh, you can do that in your colouring darker and light but it's quite good just playing around really yeah well I hope you really are keeping safe it's really weird times but this is a great way of just forgetting about it all for a little while give yourself some new time especially if you're stuck in at home and working from home you, you need to step away and do some doodling or some meditation or exercise you know um, I'll tell you what I have been doing Oop, get rid of these for a minute I've been getting my old sketch pad out as you can see that I've been playing around in there Messing around. <laughs> That's a funny one. Yeah. So you don't have, always have to do it on a card. You can do it in an old notebook or scrap pieces of paper. It really doesn't matter as long as you're doing something. That's all that matters. So anyway, just a little chat along. Be good out there. Take, be safe. Keep safe. And um, just have a go at drawing something like that. Quite simple. And doesn't use your, doesn't take a lot of thinking to draw something out like like a fish. Have a few bits of bobs. Anyway, talk again soon. Remember, if you liked it, please subscribe. It will. It supports the channel and it gives me a bit more motivation as well to, to make more videos. And um, yeah, be good. See you later. Bye bye.